In this video we'll show you how to integrate cases as a CAD engine into the ANSYS workbench. The goal of this ACT-based integration is to let you, as an ANSYS user, run design explorations and shape optimization directly within the ANSYS user interface, with just a few clicks and no scripting at all. Cases will simply generate geometry variants in the background and hand them over to the ANSYS tools for meshing and the simulation. Everything is fully automated. Cases is a generalized CAD software for any type of application where CAD automation and robust variation are an issue. Let's consider a parametric pump impeller model in Cases as an example. The parametric geometry was built from scratch in Cases and design variables were created and connected to the geometry. Each variable has a lower and an upper bound. And by changing a variable value, the entire geometry is updated and regenerated. We want to use ANSYS TurboGrid as the target meshing tool in this example. The cases geometry can be exported using the TurboGrid feature that you can find in the blade menu. It allows you to configure, for instance, the number of sections, the number of points per section, setting the original contours for half and shroud, the number of blades and so forth. If we execute this feature, a TurboGrid file that is based on this geometry is exported into the project directory. This is a manual action we want to automate with the Cases ACT app. At this stage, we just need to make sure that such a pre-configured TurboGrid export is included in the Cases project setup. As a preparation for the ACT app, we need a so-called Cases FSC file, which is basically the control file when running Cases in batch mode. Such a file can be quickly generated through the file menu of Cases. The FSC file contains information about the Cases project, its design variables, the export file, units, as well as color identifiers for considering ANSYS uh, name selections. Now in order to control this Cases setup from within the ANSYS workbench, we first need to load the Cases ACT apps that are shipped with the Cases installation. The Cases apps will show up in the Toolbox widget and, as you can see, there are two Cases apps. One is a more general one that can supply geometry to all the other meshing tools in ANSYS, such as uh, the ANSYS Mesher and ISM CFD. The second one is the one we will use in this video, which provides dedicated TurboGrid files. So let's drag and drop it into the project workspace. From the context menu, we select the Cases FSC file that we previously exported for our project setup. If we then update the component, Cases starts in the background, opens the pump impeller project and exports the TurboGrid file of the model. The first update also created the parameter set in ANSYS, where the design variables of the Cases model are simply transferred into the workbench. Now it's easy to change the Cases geometry parameters and update the Cases model directly from within the workbench user interface. As you can also see, this update automatically detected the exported TurboGrid file and created a workflow for it. By double-clicking on the TurboMesh component, TurboGrid is opening and the Cases geometry is displayed. We can now configure the meshing part and everything we do in here will be applied to all design candidates that are generated later. As a next step, we create and set up a CFD simulation, where we connect and transfer the TurboGrid mesh to the analysis system. The loop is now closed and we are ready to change the geometry parameters manually to analyze the design variant. However, the main application of the cases integration is to run design studies or shape optimizations using either the inbuilt strategies from the ANSYS Design Explorer or using more sophisticated tools such as OptiSlang. As you can see, it's easy to integrate cases models into the workbench for robust and flexible geometry variation. With just a few clicks, you're ready to run large-scale optimizations with cases and all the ANSYS tools. With the two cases ACT apps, the geometry generation can be automated for any type of complex freeform geometry, including blades, volutes, ducts, manifolds, ship hulls, to name a few.